Okay, for today's video, we're getting bees tomorrow. I'm getting two full hives. I've already got the bee boxes. Um, so I'm gonna set it up here. It's late in the day after five o'clock, almost six. So the sun has already come across. Again, I'm setting it kind of south, southeast so that when the sun comes up, it'll hit the front of the bee boxes and warm it up so the bees will come out and actually go out and do their thing. Um, I'm no like bee expert. Um, this may not be the way you would do it. This is just the way I'm gonna try it now. Um, I'm going off of some videos I've watched. I went to a bee class a couple months back. I don't know if you've, if you've seen that video. If not, I'll, uh, I'll try to link that video to this where I talk a little bit about that. Um, I don't think I said a whole lot on that video, so. But anyhow, I'm gonna use a tarp to keep the grass down, and I'm gonna set the bee, the bees in the middle of the tarp. And, uh, and we're gonna go from there, so that it'll be kinda level. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how I'm gonna level it. So, anyhow, I'm gonna continue working on it. These are just some eight foot two by fours I had left over. So, all I'm gonna do is kinda try to space these so that they fit. Okay, I think we're pretty level. This should work. So anyhow, these are the brood boxes. Um, from what I've learned, it's not a whole lot, <laughs> is you wanna start out with just one brood box. And from there, you're gonna go, you're gonna add another brood box. And then you'll add no more than two supers, which are smaller boxes that the bees will move up and put the honey in. The brood is where they'll put their eggs, where they'll uh, grow out their new queen when they come to that point. Um, drones and the uh, worker bees. Uh, they'll all be in the brood boxes. And the head, you only do one brood box at a time because you don't want the bees to make the next brood box up. You don't want them to start populating that right away. You want them to get this one full, um, or almost full before you put the next one on so that they'll move up and continue to move up and, and do it that way. So. I've got a little bit more work to do. Um, I've got about 24, uh, 26 minutes left before I gotta be done for the day. So, go ahead and get back to work here.
So, I think I did it. I'll need to cut these back. <coughs> I ran out of string on my edger. And in the background you can see pork chops kind of interested in what I'm doing. So, I think this will work. I hope this will work. If not, I have a bee suit. Um, so I've never been a beekeeper before. I've been a honey eater quite a bit. So this is gonna be new for me. But, we'll see how it all goes. I don't even think I need these in the center. Which is good, because they can hold this down up front and in the back. Anyhow, I think that's just about it for the day. I'll have to bring out my, uh, I'll have to bring out my hand saw. So I'll do that later. I've got all day tomorrow still. And, with everything else I had going on, I'm just kind of running behind schedule. So, anyhow, that's it for the bees. Until tomorrow, I'll do another update and add it to this. there but it is solid and it is level now trick of the eye makes that side look taller in the video but uh, I just leveled it I got it within I got it pretty close to level level I had to shim it up with a uh, 2x4 piece of cedar and some uh, spare plywood that I had and I went ahead and I put a little piece of wood on the front and in the back to hold them kind of in place just to make sure they're in place I'll probably get four more pieces and do on the other side as well but um, as this is my lunch hour I don't really have a lot of time so um, anyhow getting ready for the bees to be here and we'll see how all this goes Okay, so this is what two colonies of bees will look like. I'll actually um, there's two sets. This is sugar water. And what you should do is, from what I'm told and what I've just watched on video, is you spray them. want to soak them, I just want to spray them, and there's thousands of them in here. And I'm getting ready to move them out to their, uh, to their hive, where their new home will be. So I won't be doing that until uh, I put my suit on. Well, I like bees. I don't need to get stung by bees. And you will see there are some that are dead. And you'll see a can on the inside. The queen should be somewhere up here attached to the top. On the, and 
These are the top feeders. They're not completed yet. I got my bees. I got part of my order for my for my uh, beehives. Um, I've got all four of my brood boxes. I've got both of my top feeders now. I've got all my frame inserts. I've got 40 of my frames. I'm still. I need four more supers with the frames and inserts, and I'll be completed. But the supers this year I won't need probably because they're just now getting here. They're going to build this all out. So anyhow, let me go ahead and pack some of this up on the mule, and we'll go from there. All right, so I've already done this brooder bo brood box. Um, these are the frames. Take this insert here. This is plastic. Um, I believe it's got a coating of wax already on it. You just pop it in place. There's some there's grooves in the top and bottom of the wood. Put it back in. So I can see that. But it's in the groove there. Okay, so let's hope I can get this on film. I'm getting ready to move the bees over here. And uh, we'll see how this goes. First, I gotta put my little suit on and sweat like crazy. Because uh, I guess that's what you do in these things. So, tell you what, these bee suits do get warm. But uh, hopefully they, hopefully it'll serve a, serve its purpose. I tell you, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> just a little. They sound just a little upset at me. We'll have to feed them and get them feeling better about it. Now let's all remember, I've never done this before. This will be my first go at doing bees, so you got to get them soaked real good so they'll get heavy and they'll feel better. Moment of truth, people. Moment of truth. No turning back now. As you can tell, I've not done this before, so. All right, so now. Gonna keep them all kinda. There's the queen. So. Kinda wanting to uh, put her in. And we're going very careful here so that we don't crush anybody. So, whoops, that wasn't good. 
Oh, here we go. I think the second go around might be easier for me. We'll see how it goes. Come on, guy. There you go. And you just kind of shake them in. I'm told I'm not going to get them all. Which, obviously, I'm not. I think the next one we're going to do a little bit different. See if it'll work. And one is done. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I've put the other, I've put the rest of the bees that didn't come out, I, I let them go here. They're going to come out on their own and go into the hive where the queen is at. So, let's see if this one goes any better. And again, we're at the point of no return. <laughs> and I'm being real careful not to crush any of these guys because they kind of get upset when you do that. So this one, I'm going to wait to put the queen in until I get most of the bees down in here. Again, with the ones that don't want to come out of here, I'm really not going to force it. I'm going to let them go right where they're at. I'm going to start putting the frames in, moving them around. You don't want to crush them for sure. So I'm going to get the queen ready. I think I can do this one a little better. There. Okay. This one went a little uh, a little easier for me. I think I'm done. All right, there you have it, two beehives. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so, not 
sure how much I'm going to get. I'm using my phone. But uh, I'm going to fill the sugar water, um, the top feeders. So here we go. Once I get the cap off, I'll bring the phone back in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is the more active hive. I'm going to move this top cover back a little bit. Got bees inside. I don't want bees in here. I want them out of there. There should be no bees inside there. Because if they get in there, they die. And all I'm gonna do. And I've got my bee suit on, so I'm good. So what I'm gonna do, and as you can, if you can hear them, they're kind of mad now. So. They don't know that all I'm trying to do is just give them some food. Like I said, this hive is more active, so I'm gonna really make sure they have enough because I don't want to come messing with them too much. I wanna let them do their thing. So I've just now put three bottles in, and I'm getting ready to put another bottle in to make sure. Uh, the first hive only took like a bottle and a half, and it's really not full, full. But since these guys are so active in the other hive, I'm gonna make sure I give them plenty. I really honestly don't know why they're so much more active in this hive than the other one. But they are. So, bunch of them. Let me put this down. So, anyhow, go around the front and I'll show you what I mean. I don't know how well you can see this. next few days we're going to check and make sure the queen is doing good, doing her job. Uh, I pulled the corks out last night of their cage. Um, they come in a cage and they have like a candy plug and then a cork plug. So I pulled the cork plug out and the other bees and the queen should eat through that and then the queen will come out. That gives the hive plenty of time to accept the queen as their queen. So once she comes out, she'll start laying eggs and they'll start capping everything off. And we should be good to go. So, anyhow, that's it for now on the bee hives.